I was sad yesterday because I was in the thing and yeah. I couldn't see. Even though we looked out the window and got a little. My favorite thing about tendering is viewing the ship as we pull away from it. them not to have to tender and it's more pleasant for the guests not to, to wait hours and, and then get up. off and on and over and over right yeah instead of waiting for you know an hour or two so i have this um app on my phone it came with it everybody's like what is it but it came with the galaxy note edge and it's um we've walked 1150 steps today so far to say like in miles yeah it is 0.52 that's we'll know when we get back on the ship yeah yesterday we walked over four miles We'll see what today. We'll see today. We walked half a mile, so we'll see what the grand total. At Disney, you usually walk like six, six to eight, eight yeah, a night. a night. So we're used to that. That's why we've already dropped a lot of weight. I can't wait to get home and weigh. And for our other channel, we on Living Disney, we started weight vlogs because we started to lose weight again. So I'm gonna check into that. On this cruise, the food is different from the other ones. It's not as fatty. Except for at snack time. <laughs> they have like these butter cookies. It tastes like they're Walker's delicious. butter cookies. They do. They're small. I mean, they're like this like small, shortbread. but they're yeah, so but you good. Eat, like, six of them. I eat like I have to. I eat like five or six every day. <laughs> oh well. Because <laughs> we missed it the other days. <laughs> kind of hoping they'd have it tonight when I got on. <laughs> it's a great way to start your dinner. <laughs> We're off. So excited. I love exploring. First Hi. time I've ever been here. Yay! Another first. Lots of firsts on this ship. It's not, you know, we're on cruises, there's, there's going to be a time where you've been most Exactly, places. and a lot of the ones we've taken lately are just repeats, it seems. Yeah. Which is fine, too. I'm not complaining oh, yeah. at all. I'm just yeah, stating. I've been the last six months, so I'm glad we're not going there this time. Here, look, you guys, I got to go this way. This is like a little welcome center they put up until they have the main thing built. Gives you some information. He said to follow the sidewalk to town. Just right over there, I'm sure, right there. And we're just going to do what we did there, Shay, just walk around and explore. So yesterday we talked to you about taking tours um, outside of the ship, and this I even this is my first time here. Wait, let's I look. See that one says taxi, and you see that in all these on them there said taxi, and they have the company name on the side of them. Look, Pirates of the Caribbean. And you can tell, like I would feel totally safe getting on one of these, you guys. See, that looks like. A real taxi or tour that. bus. Like he said, he said that we can take an island tour of twenty dollars. Take the beach, like that with the open the thing. Still the replays. Twenty bucks, and on the ship it would be seventy dollars. Yeah. So this is what I would do so if I wanted to do that. Do you guys see the difference of a safe vehicle and yesterday's not safe vehicle? Right, but we were only talking about safeness. We were also talking about making it back on time. And if you do go with one of these people, they're not gonna hold the ship for you. If something these happens, people to aren't man, either. I know, that's right. what I'm trying to tell them. So anytime you book without the ship, then you are going to be at risk, which is the number one people, number one reason people book on board is because they're protected. If the ship leaves, they wait for them. If you were comfortable with taking your chance, then I would be comfortable with booking here with a tour group. And but it's you're not, pretty good odds though. How ship. often has that ever happened? Hardly I ever. I have not looked it up personally, but it does happen. It does. Everything in life happens. Oh no, we were just going to walk to town. Thank you though. So, if you can feel comfortable getting over that possibility, which is then, probably very common, but once again, it could happen. Then wait till you get off the ship and go on one of these tours right. here, you get like for half price. Let's follow the sidewalk to town, that's what we're doing. Follow we're right out of the gates. Hello. 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 Here offering island tours for 15, but that, I wouldn't do that. Oh, that's okay. Thank you, though. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. See the difference there. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't okay. do that. Personally. So that way, no. That way, yes. There's bank right here, which he says there's an ATM in there. Because I don't know if I told you or not, but the Costa ship doesn't have an ATM on it. It's the first ship I've ever seen with an ATM. But 
Anyway, a lot of times we like to buy a bill from the country we're in. You can laminate it and make a bookmark or something. Collect the money, it's fun for the kids. Renting a car is a really popular idea at ports, especially like this one where there's a lot of places to drive around. And I think it's totally fine. We've done it quite a few times. Yeah, especially if you just get a map first, of course. Yeah, get a map, and if you can, plan ahead of time. <laughs> you, they, it comes with insurance. It's usually like $80, including the ins insurance. And you get it for like the whole time you're here. Yeah, and then you just gotta put gas back in. It's usually about $100 for the day. But especially if you have a whole family, yeah. you'd be paying like $20, $30 a person anyways for a little tour. Yeah. So it's really a great economical way to explore the a island on your own. A great place to get a car is St. Thomas. Yeah. There's so many places to go. You can go to different beaches. You can go all kinds of places. Because neither is a button. It's <laughs> usually scary trying to cross. We're walking across. That never works though. Is that the way it works for you? I don't know. I think maybe we should go. I think we should just go. Yes. Yeah, let's just go. Oh, it says walk. See? Walk. <laughs> We're walking. We walk like that, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Down here is supposed to be a little bar that has Wi-Fi. You buy a beer. So why I'm not drinking that? a beer, but I was just gonna drink some because it's her birthday. <laughs> it's her birthday. <laughs> Look, there's a little like bazaar over there. Hey, I could come on these islands and open like an internet cafe and coffee and stuff. Yeah, that'd be fun. That would actually be fun. Yeah, it would. Oh, look at a little market with some bananas or something. Ooh, I love bananas. Just look fresh, look hot. Look at this organic. Oh, I know. Look at that papaya, eggplant. Yummy stuff. Looks delicious. The bananas are green. The peppers look good. I know, and the bananas. Let's go that way. We can come back. Free Wi Fi. Ha. Right here in this bamboo shade lounge. Okay, come on. Looks pretty. Let's go. Okay, let's got to pick something out for your birthday. Do I still look that bad? Wreck of the Stormy Roan. Mm -hmm. Sweaty. It's hot and humid here. It's only 75 actually, but it's really humid. It is. So they have wine. The famous painkiller, Elizabeth. Rum, fruit juices, and Coco Lopez. Coco Lopez. I don't know what that is. Wine. <laughs> this is the wine. Okay, yeah, there's the drinks. Guys. Hello. Who's your confusion then? Is that something like special that you do? Uh, it is something special <laughs> even here, but we have, uh, we have lots of other... It's really like Island Pacific, or that, this is, that Cruisin Confusion Cru is Cruisin your... is a virgin, it's uh, from St. Croix. The rum is made over there in St. Croix in the Virgin Islands, so it's a rum from here. Let's do that. Yeah? Yeah. Is that what you want? I don't want any. <laughs> uh, we, have, um, we have sodas, we got Coke, we got Diet Coke, Sprite, ginger beer, ginger ale. Remember to go find a market. Yeah, she says they them. have Ting, which is a grapefruit soda, but I bet you can find one in a market here. So, cruising confusion. Let's hope it doesn't cause confusion. I thought it was a shot too. Here we are, flashback to um, Nassau on the Majesty of the Seas cruise. Most of us thought it was a shot. That's full. Of all the rum from St. Croix, I believe she said. And fruit juice. It smells like fruit juice. Okay, Elizabeth. Yeah, it's a big shot. Happy birthday. I have a Coca Cola. Let me drink in with Elizabeth. The free Wi-Fi is really cool. It works really well. I'm checking in with everybody. I just put a picture on Instagram and message the kids. <laughs> and he's like, how's your Wi-Fi work? She's at meaning to ask, like, how do you get it? Like, did it buy it? Is it free? But he's like, it works really well. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. Reminds me of Trevon. Salute. Salute. <laughs> Happy birthday, Elizabeth. I just poured mine all over myself. <laughs> That's what you do, you don't drink a straw and sip. Good. You're right, if I have a straw, I don't tip my drink. Strong, juicy? Juicy, not strong. Good. Good, you don't want to get all confusion. Carousing, confusion. <laughs> so far, how's your birthday, Elizabeth? That's excellent. Can't wait to finish it when I get home by playing Dying Light. Oh. Amy likes to come home with memories on her shirt. <laughs> well, hopefully it's Coca Cola. And what I did is I tipped it when I drank out the straw at the same time. Hopefully it will just dissipate. Yeah. Or look like sweat. <laughs> okay, you try it, Amy. Mm. 
it's not like overwhelmingly strong, but you can taste the rum in there. And it's a really, I guess it's uses different kinds of rums, just like vanilla and stuff. It's really smooth and yummy. Very tasty, actually. If I want to drink something, drink one of those for sure. But I don't want to feel weird in this heat and walk around and stuff. Although it's totally tell fine. me that. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just joking. I'm different from Elizabeth. I have a little more different ways I handle things. <laughs> I could do it. I just didn't want to do it because. Okay. I was bored your drink. I'll be so mad. <laughs> Look at the roost. Look at the hen. You see her under him? Oh my gosh, yes, you're what right. Are the little babies. Oh, it's look at her on the babies. steps. They're so cute because they're all over on the islands. Look at the. Yeah. Look at the house up there, you guys, oh with the big curved goodness. balcony. Imagine the views from there. Look how cute they are. Oh, it's a pub. That's cool. One thing I like about taking uh, island tours where you go to the interior is you get to see, you know, how they live and the houses. Yeah. They're all so different, aren't they? They are. It's just so interesting. I just love exploring. I really do. This is a very nice, laid-back, peaceful, safe-feeling town, isn't yes. it? Yes, I want to go on the crosswalk up here and go over to that little... To see the ship? Yes. There it is over there. Okay, let's do that. And then we can keep that. going on up this way. Yeah, smell. <laughs> Ocean. Oh, cool. That's cool. Look at our ship, you guys. What a view. And the breeze here is just wonderful. Isn't it? Look at the color of the water. Oh, you have one grab. Some snorkeling gear and hop in. Oh, yes. I want one of those you want to get something? <laughs> You want to get some ting, Elizabeth? Yeah, some ting. We're trying to make a collection of different foods and treats to take home and try with kids. And ting, T-I-N-G, is my grapefruit soda kind of drink we're telling you about. If the kids were here, well, at least one of them would want ice cream, I know. <laughs> it's like her collection is collecting ice cream everywhere. She loves ice cream. <laughs> oh, so cute. We're back here where we use the internet. We're gonna go back down this way. There's a convenience store and a bank, which I need to use the ATM. It's not a very big town right here. I mean, you might go in more, but. But they have what tourists are looking for. Food, drinks, free Wi-Fi, typical tourist Made in China stuff. souvenir stalls. <laughs> do as the locals do. Come on. <laughs> I'm, gonna run into the, I'm gonna run into this bank and use the ATM. At least I feel safe using it because it's a, in a bank. <laughs> We successfully obtained our cash. Yeah, don't go without cash. And there was nowhere to get it yesterday, I don't believe. <laughs> Elizabeth chose this little pathway. We're just gonna walk down here. Well, a lot of locals are coming back and forth, a little mall here, so. I just wanna see more, less touristy, more local, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which way? Now. Just go. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, more poo poo smell. There's a dump truck. Okay. That alley went down was very smelly. The more interesting roads, the more it was likely to pick them. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, you find lots of good stuff in the back roads. Same as the Cayman Islands, everything's up front, but our favorite shop is a few blocks back. It says grocery, but it says bars, so maybe we'll see. We'll go look and see what's in there <laughs> on our quest for. Foods. It says food, cold drinks, pastry. Hello. What are we looking for? Ting? What's that? It says gooseberry? Huh. Gooseberry what? Stewed. Oh. Gooseberry or Yummy. And then these big treats. Okay. Look at the lollipops. And... Okay. Thank you. No ting. Look, there's a... Oh, that's... I bought a bottle of that um, soda in Jamaica once. There's more Malta India we bought yesterday. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll just keep looking then. Next stop. I know. Which way now? Okay. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> you the roosters? That's a very interesting church. Just like a house. Look at that. There's a restaurant over there in the corner. That's cute. 
It's so pretty with the blue sky and the colorful buildings, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be really fun, like you said, just to move down to one of these islands and open up store. For Wouldn't that be shop. fun? Yeah, a cafe. Look at the rock. I, I mean, it's just built around that. That's really neat. That's really neat. Serendipity. What's the door? Oh, there's the door there. So you're going in to look for the LPS for Minara, for her you daughter. Never, you never know. <laughs> for my daughter. I mean. <laughs> for our daughter. Look, Minara, if you're watching this, we're looking for toys. Hi. When we went to Mexico last month, um, she found some LPS, and they were different from what she was used to we in the USA. Like a rare variety or something, which we never knew ever until she opened them up. So I don't see any LPS. She begged us to check all of her toys. Well, um, we're here. <laughs> yeah. We're checking. Lots of neat any. things, though. There are neat things. Books. Mm, I love the smell of books. They had so much stuff, didn't they? Yes. That was nice. Was the nice there? little bookstore. I know. Maybe if you want to find something. <laughs> so which way, Amy? I don't know. Let's keep going that way and we'll come back here and go upstairs in the coffee house if you want. Um, and the internet we had, we missed the kids. I guess they weren't up yet. I think they're sleeping in. So I'd like to try to get them again. It's a pretty church, St. George's Episcopal. It's like hidden behind those pretty trees. Yeah, very nice. Look, it's a prison. What? No, look, it's a prison museum. Oh. Well, that used to be an old prison. What is a prison museum? I don't know. Let's go look. Go there and they never come out. <laughs> <laughs> now you're part of the museum. <laughs> Visiting hours, but I don't see any. Let's go look down here. Look up there. Oh, look. That's cool. It would be really neat to go in there. Look at that old building. Ooh, it'd be kind of creepy. Look. Her Majesty's Prison, built in 1774. The original prison it was in continual use until 1995. Wow. Within the walls of the prison, the murderers were hanged and buried. So mm -hmm. in there, everyone was hung and buried. Okay, that would be really neat to go to. The plantation <laughs> owner was sentenced for the murder of a slave in 1811 and was hanged in there. Good. That's <laughs> <laughs> so cool and creepy. I want to go. I know. Maybe there's another side to it. Come on. I want to go in there. Maybe you can get in through this way. Maybe. You think it'd be open? It's a port day for a cruise ship. This is a great time to explore. Kitty. Lots of roads are safe. Don't you love it? I do. So hot, isn't it? You can see history everywhere. Old and new mixed together. I love it. There's a church here. <gasps> There's the cemetery. Wow. Wow. Look oh, at that. Wow. There's a little it's a small area, isn't it? Yeah. It does look overgrown and it might not be an operating museum. Yeah, inside looks like it's all trees and Which is, it's, so it's like an, it's like abandoned it looks like. like. Which to me, I would love to get in there. I know. But it would be a yucky place with yucky I still go stuff that happened there. But video. yeah, I mean everybody, well a lot of people are intrigued with abandoned things and especially when they have history. Yeah. But just, this is so neat. This is really cool. See, we found this on our own by walking around. We found this by ourselves by walking around. You can't be too scared to go off the beaten path, you know? Yeah, as long as you're safe, you yeah. follow the tips we've given you. We're actually going to be making a video with tips on it. You know, be safe and wary, and um, okay, you can have a, a great experience. Let's go peek around the corner. It is very peaceful, isn't it? Anything up there? A park and a school, it looks like. Yeah. So, we're going to go back down then? Yep. And just for reference, we're not too far away. We're just a few blocks, like two blocks that maybe? way to the port area. Yeah. And we're only uh, like a block. Well, right here, maybe two blocks. But up there, it's a block from the main street. And you see a lot of business people walking around. And you see tourists. Buildings, a lot of tourists. So. Yeah. You, you, could yeah. <laughs> you could tell <laughs> when you're starting. You anyone but like mid locals. Locals only standing around. No. We did that in Nassau last year. Uh, I, I, we went up the wrong area and then I swear we, we were being followed and then we're like, okay, yeah. wrong area, let's go back. I asked that boy walking by and he said they are closed and they're going to fix it up. Oh man, I'd like to see in there right now. <laughs> so awesome. So continuing down the road. The narrow, fat woman squeeze. Just walk your, uh, feet. Woo. <laughs> I'm going to I'll have to carry you back, Amy. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> the roosters. I know. I'm just 
just gonna stand here till the cars pass because look how narrow it is. Okay, go. Hurry, end of the road and run. <laughs> That one, that one's really cute. Oh, it is. Reminds me of old houses in North Carolina in the country. <laughs> FYI, I'm just now, it, the thought crossed to me that now you're getting out of the tourist area. I personally don't really want to go any further, although it's awesome. I do. I just don't really know if we should. You know, this is the point where you're like, okay, if you go any farther, you'll be going into non-touristy areas. I know, so we're gonna walk up here just a, a little and see if there's a cut over. If not, we'll go back. There's some more stores up here, Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, finally when I thought we lost hope for a food mart. Look, right there, right way food mart. Here we're crossing. It's a food mart. Ha -ha. Oh, thank you. Come on. <laughs> Good job, Elizabeth. I would have went back already. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, don't touch me. 